Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing this makeup look with you guys. It is a beautiful, like, blown out type of matte eye look with some dewy skin. I absolutely love looks like this, so I wanted to go ahead and create one for you because this is something that I would wear pretty much, like, all fall time, so, or all winter, so I just wanted to go ahead and share, and I'm going to be using all the products in this month's BoxyCharm for you guys. So if you guys are interested on in seeing this look, then let's go ahead and hop right on in. So the first thing I'm going to be doing today is priming up my eyelids. I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium. This is my all-time favorite concealer. You guys probably already know that, but I'm going to go ahead and prime up my lids. We are running super, super low, so I'm definitely going to have to buy another one because I'm literally scraping, but I just love it so much. So I'm going to go in with the BoxyCharm for the month of November to use these Luxie brushes. Can we just for one second on these brushes? These are so stunning. Everywhere from packaging to brushes itself is... So stunning. It's crease brush really quick to go ahead and blend it out. It is just the perfect size. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. I'm also going to be using all the products from this month's BoxyCharm for November. You guys, I was so excited about it. So once I have all of that blended out, I'm going to go ahead and hop into this palette right here, which came in the November box as well. And this is called the Ace Beauty Grandinos palette, I believe it's called. And you guys, yeah. I'm obsessed. This is so stunning. So if you guys don't know what BoxyCharm is, it is pretty much a box like this one right here. You get four to five full-size items every single month with different products filled in here. Full-size items for $21, which is so incredible. That's one of the things that I absolutely love about it because I get to try out new products every single month and they're not little trials. Like they're full items. Like this palette here is a full-size item. I look forward to getting the boxes every single month. It's a surprise and I absolutely love it. So if you can try out new products every single month for that price, like why not? So I will leave it linked down below for you guys to check it out. And yeah, seriously, one of my favorites. Amazing. So we're going to go ahead and hop on into this palette. I'm going to go in with this color right here, which is Patchouli, I believe it's called. It's a nice matte bone color. And I'm just going to put this all over my eye just to kind of set everything down. And yes, this is a crease brush, but I think it will still do the trick. I haven't decided what look I'm going to go to yet. It is still fall and I'm still obsessed with those fall looks so we might end up with another fall look I know I've been doing a ton but it seriously is one of the ones I go to like a lot I love the look of them and it gets me so excited so once that's all set down I'm gonna go in with this brush right here this is the Luxie one that also came in the box this is the 121 mini tapered brush super nice I love the like white hairs on them as well I feel like you're gonna get a lot of payoff with that so oh my god I can't stop looking at this palette it's so stunning these are my colors, so of course, I'm going to love it. Uh, we'll go in with cinnamon, which is a nice cinnamon color. I'm going to just run that into my crease, just to kind of give a nice transition. Ooh. So I'm just going to kind of keep it into my upper crease, kind of just obviously keeping it in the transition area and just kind of swishing it from inner to outer corner. I love to do that in all of my looks. I know they're probably very similar, but it's just like my go-to way. So sorry, but that's just how I like to do it. So I'm just going to continue to do that on both eyes. I like this color a lot. And the palette is so beautifully designed. Okay. Like, it looks like I did a cup crease already, but I didn't. So this is a really good crease brush. Okay. I've been getting these boxes for almost like a year and a half, I think. And I seriously never not liked one. Like, I love all of them. And I just love the concept. Like, I'm going to go in with this color Poppy, which is more of like a burgundy, like, berry color. And just kind of place that right into my actual crease as well. Kind of like layering those colors, but like a little bit below it. And like deepening up that outer area as well. And then I'll also hop back into that cinnamon color, kind of mix both of them. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to hop back into that cinnamon color and kind of deepen it up. I don't really want to go to the berry look. I kind of want to keep it more like deeper like like rustic, rusty. <laughs> um, so I'll just kind of keep going back in with this color and blending it out. And I kind of feel like doing an all matte look today. Should I do an all matte look? Hmm. Maybe I will do it all matte and a tiny dot of sparkle. 
I'm like feeling that, you know? I'm like super excited for the holidays. November 1st, literally the hour Halloween ended, I was so in the holiday mood, like Christmas time. I just want to put my tree up. Is that bad? Like I could keep that up all year round, I feel. Like I just love it so, so much. It's so crazy. But tell me I'm not alone. Like let me know if you guys are like that as well. So good. So I'm just gonna run this down below. Kind of more of like a diffused, um, blown out matte look. I love the way these are blending out. So, so good. I'm gonna go in with the smaller Luxie brush that came in this BoxyCharm as well and take the shade Jasmine in this palette and apply that just quickly underneath my brow bone just for a little bit of a highlight. Even with an all matte look, I do like to highlight the brow bone. Um, not always, but today I'm kind of feeling it. I feel like it just kind of gives more of like that pop. So I'm just gonna run this all over the lid like I said. Taking a tiny bit of the patchouli color, I hope I'm saying that right, it's like a bone color. I'm just gonna put a little bit into the inner corner right here to make it not look so dark. Beautiful. Then running a little bit of that shade Cinnamon right here on the lid, like outer third of the lid flowing it into the crease area. And then I'm gonna leave this inner corner very blank with just that patchouli color, just so it looks like it's still bright, but still matte. Any fallout that got over here or anything like beneath my lash line, I will clean up later. I'm gonna quickly go in with that same brush and take a little bit of cinnamon and poppy mixed together and run that on the lower lash line. With our concealer and foundation, it'll kind of just clean it all up in the way like I shape it. Honestly, your fingers are tools too, so like sometimes I'll just go like this and just kind of clean that area up. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the skin. I'm gonna go in with my Smashbox Primer Oil just to hydrate everything up, and I'm gonna blend that in with my sponge all over. For foundation today, I'm going in with my Milk Makeup Blur Foundation in the shade Medium, and this is their matte foundation. I seriously love this stuff. It's so, so good. And apply it with this sponge. Oh, it's so stunning. I love the coverage of this. It's so good. For concealer, I'm going with the NARS Natural Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Light 2.6 and applying that right here leaving some space because we did do that, that blown out look over here to my side of my nose and up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start blending this in. And then as I blend this, I'm just gonna kind of keep it where I laid it down and go a little bit higher up. Taking Laura Mercier translucent powder, I'm gonna go ahead and set the under eye. And then a little bit on my chin, the sides of my nose, and then a little bit below my cheekbone. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly brush that away because I don't like to let it sit for too long. And going in with this smaller brush, this is the 121 again from Luxie. I'm taking the shade Cinnamon and just kind of putting this more on my lid and just like deepening up the actual lid area with this. So like kind of connecting from this outer corner to the lower and it just gives a nice blown out, seamless diffused look. I love that. To quickly bronze up my skin a little bit and contour, I'm taking the Benefit Hoola Bronzer. And then a tad of the Too Faced Born This Way Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Hopping back into the BoxyCharm box, I'm going in with the Cover FX Glitter Drops. This one's in the color Nova. So I'm just gonna take a tiny, tiny drop and put it on the highest points of my cheekbones. Oh my gosh, okay. I don't wanna get too carried away. So I'm just gonna do my finger and kinda like stamp it on. So I'll start off with my nose a little bit. 
that's really pigmented. And it does have glitter in it, so I'm not gonna put too, too much. Oh wow, all you need is a dot. Wow. Oh my gosh. <gasps> so pretty. To lay right on top of that, I'm taking the Lancome Dual Finish Highlighter, and this one's in five, and just apply it directly on top. Ooh, that's pretty. So I kind of use like the cover effects to kind of more as a base. Um, but you definitely can use this in so many different ways. You could probably use this as your eyeshadow or at least as a base for a shimmer eyeshadow or in your inner corner it would be a beautiful, like stunning little pop. So pretty. I'm going to also go in with this eyeliner that came in this box. This is by the brand John Tableau. Glittering eyeliner. Let's see what it looks like. If I don't end up using it, I will swatch it for you black and silver I feel like it'll not go with this look so I'm not gonna use it but it's a beautiful eyeliner it has a lot of shimmer in it so it definitely sparkles it has some silver sparkles in it that's really pretty I'm going to instead use a nude eyeliner in my inner waterline so we also got a pair of lashes in this boxy charm as well. This is called the Lashaholic Luxury Lashes. This is in the style Instagram. That's super cute. This is what they look like. So cute. Love the packaging. I'm gonna go ahead and pop those on with some lash glue and I'll be right back. So these are the lashes all on. I love them. They're very natural looking, but also have like this really nice like wisp to them. I'm gonna use a tiny bit of an eyeliner on the top line. This one's the Milk Makeup Eyeliner. This one's in the color Boss, and it's just your black shade. I'm just going to go ahead and run that lightly up into here and meshing it in. For mascara, to go ahead and further blend, I'm taking the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This is my favorite mascara. So we're not going to do any mascara on the lower lashes today. I'm going to leave it bare, and I'm going to smoke it out even more using that Ace Beauty palette. Really meshing it in with that outer section. Once the lashes are on, I like to do a little bit of finishing touches with the actual shades just because sometimes it can get taken away or with too much blending, you really can see how much more you need with the lashes on. For my lips today, I'm going in with the NYX Liner in Nude Beige. If you watched my previous video, you guys know I'm obsessed. Taking MAC Lipstick in Honey Love to go ahead and fill in my lips. And then to go over top of that, I'm taking the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. It is my favorite lip gloss, you guys. So stunning. And I think it goes really well paired with these colors. Taking the Cover FX Glitter Drops one more time. I am going to just put a tiny bit more just because I am that obsessed. Right on my cupid's bow. Kind of mixed in with my lip color. That's so pretty. A little bit down my nose. Like by like the bridge. Taking the sponge and kind of just blending on top of that to melt into the skin. And now I feel like I need a tiny bit of pop on the inner corner of my eyes, just because I didn't do that today. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that shade Primrose, mix with Jasmine, and apply that into the inner portion of like my nose, I guess, like right here. Not so much of my lid, just like right here. Just to make things look bright and emphasize when you're looking head on at somebody, I think that's super beautiful. Like I said, not really on my lid area, just because I want to keep that matte. So stunning. So that is all for this makeup look right here. I absolutely love it. I love the way that the shadows blended out super effortlessly and just so stunning. Like, look at that color. I'm obsessed. So this is a perfect look for fall, I feel. And it's just a beautiful, like, blown out kind of eye. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe found it a little helpful today. So again, I will have BoxyCharm linked down below for you guys to go ahead and check them out. I absolutely adored all the products in this box this month. So worth it. And I guess that is all for this video for this kind of fall makeup look. So if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.